Welcome back to Figure Depot. Tonight we have a special treat for you. Another Kayamangi Creations by Nalia Christine Sanchez. Custom She-Hulk figure. This thing is gorgeous and absolutely blowing me away. Uh, if you'll note, the color on it is more of a yellow green. And the reason for that is because it is a recreation of the original comic, which you saw in the opening crawl, the different slides. Uh, when the 1980 first uh, issue of She-Hulk came out, created by Stan Lee, it was, uh, sh they drew her very yellowish, and she uh, kind of appeared that way all throughout that first run of the uh, Savage She-Hulk, and that is what this is a recreation of. And uh, we'll get real quick into the accessories that she came with. So we get an alternate head uh, here, we'll get a closer look at. And then we get these uh, hands that are gripping hands. And then we get a soft goods dress, which is the dress that um, splits and tears. Um, I guess it's more of like a, like a slip or under shirt thing. Um, Cause she's not actually wearing a dress. It's like a nightgown or something supposed to be under her clothes when she transforms. And uh, to me, it, it made more sense to have undergarments and so, um, or a swimsuit, if you will. This is actually designed after a swimsuit. Uh, so that is technically a swimsuit, but it can be either or. And I'm going to make a bunch of soft goods clothes to kind of interchange in and out with her different outfits and stuff for different shots I'm going to do with my figure photography. So um, I will show you all those outfits here in the future after I get them made. Some different pants and shirts and dresses and um, try my hand at making some like shoes of some kind. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that um, without doing like alternate feet. Or I may do alternate feet. We'll see what I come up with on that. But anyway, probably sandals, flip-flops, that kind of stuff too. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get a closer look at this gorgeous work of art. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Every time she makes me something, it just absolutely blows me away. It is phenomenal. There's just no other word for it. Absolutely immaculate work the paint detail is outstanding the shading paint shading on here is just gorgeous the uh all the articulation is intact and the sculpt work is just outstanding um she made me this one back here first and it's awesome i wanted her all beefed up and jacked kind of more modern this um is a little uh more throwback um so but yeah, I mean, absolutely fantastic. Just a really great figure. The muscles on the first one, she made the triceps a little larger than I preferred, but on this one, she's toned them down and they look fantastic. And uh, she makes the biceps bigger this time, where before she left them kind of the same size that the base sculpt had. The abdominal is like perfect on this thing, so she didn't really mess with it much. Um, other than to just dremel all this down and sculpt the swimsuit on there. And then um, she sculpted the quads and then the calves. And they are absolutely outstanding. Very nice. And uh, we'll get a comparison of the two side by side here in just a minute. I just wanted to give you all a close up look at this figure now that I've got it. It took FedEx like forever to get it to my house. It was ridiculous. It was in my city for a long, long time before it ever made it to my door, which was aggravating, but alas. Uh, so she's repainted the face here again as well, and the eyes, giving her longer eyelashes than uh, what came factory, and it looks really nice. Um, the whole face has been repainted. The hair is the same. Uh, but everything else is a repaint, but yeah, I mean, look at that. Fantastic. Even the wrinkles where the, the strap comes up. Uh, she left this strap that connects here unpainted in case I had a dress with a low plunge line or something. Um, she explained that to me after she sent it, which is cool. That's fine. 
Um, it makes sense that it would have popped open as she grew and transformed because like here's a standard size figure. So this should be kind of what she looks like before she transforms. So it would make sense that all that would get stretched out and potentially break in the process. So anywho, we'll get some size comparisons in here a little bit later. But uh, just to look at the figure again, up close, outstanding, absolutely beautiful. Uh, looking at the accessories real quick. We've got uh, the alternate head. So I'll get that out of the bag here. And here's the alternate head. And it's that same, you know, sculpt we got on the latest She-Hulk and that original gray She-Hulk release. Um, the lips are, look to be that dark uh, colored green still, but she's got a little bit of like a sparkly gloss on them. And uh, they were a little more flat or satin looking from the factory. Uh, but it's a complete, uh, she's added a little bit of detail in the teeth to kind of separate them and make them more pronounced and a little uh, gum line there. Then uh, repainting of the eyes and everything. And of course the hair is the factory hair, I think. I don't know. Some of those strokes over the top look a little bit lighter of a green. So let's look at her real quick. Actually, yeah, she made it a little bit lighter, kind of like the comic, so very cool. Didn't realize that until I got it in hand. So nice touch there. And then um, aside from that, we get our grabby hands. So we'll get those out of the package. And they look awesome. So just focusing here a minute, we get, uh, no, not on her. We'll look at her again in a second, calm down. All right, so looking at these hands here, um, really nice uh, paint job there, and no paint rub on these. She did a she does a real good job of sealing them. I don't know what she uses, but really, really nice. She painted the fingernails on the last version she sent, but she didn't on this one, and she's been very, very ill. She almost passed away with COVID, and her grandmother did pass away, so um, I really appreciate her trying to get this out to me I, I didn't hear from her for several months some of you may have experienced that as well if you were trying to get a custom from her she has been very very sick so I'm just glad she's doing better now and uh, been praying for her I hope you will too as she uh, recovers and deals with the grief of the loss of her grandmother that's hard so anyway but uh, everything's here now and I know some of you have some pre-orders uh, some of you are starting to get yours shipped as well so just be patient Here's the uh, soft goods little uh, dress. And I'll show you all that on the figure here in a second. We'll get a comparison of the uh, Savage She-Hulk that was made by Hasbro uh, several years ago and just kind of see how they compare. All right, here's a look at her with the dress on. And uh, you can see it's got that very classic uh, look and um, a nice, uh, you know, growling face. She was angry at first in her initial run, and then when they came back with the sensational She-Hulk, uh, they lightened her up, made her funny. She started breaking the fourth wall like Deadpool and had a lot more of a bubbly personality. And I'd like to get that Blob uh, She-Hulk figure and um, Blob Wave figure and use her head and repaint it a little lighter like this and kind of um, have that more happy look go lucky fun you know look as well so that's uh, something I'm gonna work on just to add to this figure but I, I have that head and I'll do a little head swap later and kind of give you all an idea of what it might look like minus being the wrong shade of green so uh, I guess we'll do some size comparisons now so first we'll look at her with the uh, blob with I'm sorry, the Fin Fang Foom Wave She-Hulk, which is the same exact character this is supposed to be. And then just a basic female figure. And you can see a really good uh, transformation there, really good jump in size. 
looking at her, she's nowhere near big enough, nowhere near muscular enough, and I do like the head sculpt on this figure, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> Um, this is a masterpiece and definitely uh, what I was hoping for all along and just thrilled to have once again. Uh, her work is absolutely fantastic. I was going to make this dress and she actually made it for me and threw it in as a little bonus. So thank you so much. That was very kind of you to do. And uh, you can see there's just a night and day comparison from size, from sculpt, like she's got shrimpy little arms instead of, you know, strong muscular arms like she should have, and yeah. But uh, hopefully Hasbro will give us an updated Savage She-Hulk at some point. That would be fantastic. I'd love to see what they can do now. Here she is with the buck that she's actually built off of, and uh, you can see um, it's a great base, and uh, the feet obviously are reused, the hands are reused. Um, and uh, I'll pull that dress back off and we'll get a look at the abdominal area. That is a reuse, of course, as well, also. And, uh, but the all the rest of the sculpting, the shoulders have been beefed up, the biceps have been beefed up, the triceps, the quads, the calves. Um, she dremeled off the jeans, off the knees, and, you know, everything else to kind of give it that look. So you can see here, she kind of dremeled off the pants. Um, you get the same muscu musculature and everything. I almost said muscles. Yeah, ka, 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 ka. Um, but the calves have been beefed up. They're larger. And uh, obviously the quads have been beefed up and everything. And uh, turning back around and looking at the front, you can see that same abdominal was used and I don't think she has modified it any I think it's just the factory um, abdomen there so because uh, it's pretty awesome it's chiseled and muscular and everything um, so but yeah everything else the shoulders the arms you can see definite differences and uh, I think good differences so here she is with a Sensational She-Hulk from the Blob Build-A-Figure Wave and then the custom Sensational She-Hulk that uh, the same artist made me. Um, on the first one, uh, the prototype she showed me, her chest was not that large, so that was a big surprise. Uh, but I asked her to tone it down a little bit on this one. And then uh, the quads as well to bring them in just a hair and she did that perfectly and then the calves were huge which again i wanted a big muscular one here but this one i wanted a little more slender and i think the proportions uh, are fantastic here i think she did a fantastic job of uh, getting me there with that um turning around and looking at the back again of this figure and this figure you can see again the muscular legs have been toned down quite a bit. And the triceps, uh, she made just a little too large for my taste, I think, here. Um, and so she toned them down perfectly, you know, and I think it's just a fantastic, fantastic look overall. Again, I'm not disappointed with this figure at all. So, you know, for what it is, I love it. And, um, you know, she's a nice, modern, jacked, buff, you know, She-Hulk. But uh, this one is a nice kind of for all seasons She-Hulk here. And uh, she did a fantastic job of giving me exactly, exactly what I asked for. So here is the uh, smiley face. And I'm definitely going to get a repaint for that. Here she is with old cousin Bruce. And what I'll probably use as a depowered version, untransformed version of the She-Hulk. She can switch in and out of her forms at will. That was one thing that her character was different from uh, her cousin Bruce is that she could turn it on and off at will and it didn't affect her mentally. She still had all of her cognitive intelligence and everything whereas he was more dumbed down when he was in that form. Spoke in broken words and things like that. Phrases and thoughts rather than complete sentences but she on the other hand did not have that issue and uh, if you've never read the She-Hulk comics, I highly recommend them. Definitely check them out. They're a great little read. And uh, I was born in 1980, and She-Hulk number one came out in 1980. So 
if it was destiny for her to be one of my all-time absolute favorite Marvel characters. In that first run of She-Hulk comics, we do get a lot of really neat uh, cameos and appearances from other characters. Iron Man in this suit being one of them, and they look fantastic together. And then we have uh, Man-Thing as well appears in one of those early issues. Here she is with a couple suited figures, just to give you an idea of how she scales with your standard male Marvel Legends figure. And uh, you can see she's a nice bit bigger than they are. I do wish that Marvel Legends would make their She-Hulks about anywhere between a quarter inch to half inch taller uh, to really set her apart. In that first uh, She-Hulk, she was drawn very, very large. Um, a little bit bigger than this and uh, to be more in scale with how she actually appeared uh, she needs to be just a little bit taller but again I'll take it and this custom is gorgeous and a great uh, great nod to that character if you've read Marvel comics you know that Jennifer Walters is an attorney as is Matt Murdock and this is a custom daredevil that I made uh, a couple years ago and then, of course, we got Pizza Spidey, and uh, they go really nice together. Those bright, rich colors look great together, and uh, just a fantastic figure. Going to have a lot of fun photographing this thing. Final thoughts, um, I 1,000% recommend <laughs> her as a customizer. I'll post a link to her Instagram on the YouTube video, and also you can go to my uh, Instagram figure depot and and follow the links over to my Instagram page and uh, I'll have her tagged in all the photos I've posted and everything thank you so much for watching and uh, please leave a comment here and let me know what you think of this custom and also check out my Instagram Please subscribe if you haven't. If you're enjoying my content, that would really help me out a lot. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers, I can taste it. I'm in the, I'm at like 980 something, I think, last time I looked. So, uh, y'all get me over the hump, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.